Now here's a great picture folks, a peacock, one of the most beautiful birds there are. I've been meaning to do it for quite a long time and I've had quite a lot of uh, customers, members, have said to me, why not do a peacock, Colin? Well, you know, the thing is, sometimes you have to wait for a while for something good to come along. And I've taken photographs. I I go to um, Quick's house, which is in Birchington, in Ballstairs, near Ballstairs. And I went there, and they got peacocks there, and I took quite a lot of photographs. But they didn't didn't work out. Well, the thing is to see, sometimes it doesn't. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm putting grey on. And I'm going to be putting blue on. Now, I want a bright blue, but I, I don't want it to be really bright, because I'm going to put some strong blues into this. So I'm just playing with it at the moment, just getting the, the right base for me. Now there's a little bit up here. This is going to be a bit of a tricky bit here because this is like a, a plume on the top. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put anything here. I'm just going to leave those marks and I'm hoping that when I come to do the background here I can do something with them. So I'm not going to put those in. I'm not going to put them in as far as uh, pastel pencil is concerned. Now there we are. And the other thing I want to do here is I want this little tiny bit of light in the eye. This is very tight. Do you know what folks I think I'm going to have to bring you closer with this because yeah you need to see this in detail. There's the light in the eye. Let me bring it closer. Now that's as close as I can get and then you can see that I've overshot this a little bit. Not that that's critical because the background will be taken care of there. But you see now what I'm talking about a sharp pencil. So what I'll do first of all, I'll put some blue in. Now this is 140 blue and the reason it doesn't show up as brilliant as it would do is because I put the grey on underneath it. But I don't, but, you know, I do want it on the top though, that's the only thing. Okay, okay that, that's alright. Because I'm going to deepen this colour in a minute. And in here, now, this is where we've got to be really quite careful because we've got to put the blue on. I've already put the white on and I don't mind interfering with the white a little bit. And just bring that down there. The fact that I've also got the grey on means that when I come to blend this with my pointed colour shapers in a little while, I'll be able to um, blend that into the grey because it's a brilliant blending colour. See what I've done there? I've overshot that again. It's always a good idea to take it off. Not not so much the lighter colours, but the blue. So so far so good. All right, that comes up here a little bit more. I'm not going to worry about the neck yet. Now let's get the beak done. The grey on the beak, I did put a bit of grey on, but I'm going to put a little bit more. This is the 230 grey, and here is the 233. Now that can come, and that's why I never remove that mark, because there's just a little bit of strength underneath there. And it picks up on the other side there. Like that, and then we need some shading, just a touch or two. We'll be going in with dark colours soon, but not yet. Uh, this is the tricky bit. Uh, it's got to go around that eye without interfering with it. It ain't easy. I could have made this picture just a little bit bigger. And uh, yours will be a little bit bigger than mine. But anyway, I'll cope. Right, 
comes right down to there. Well, so far so good. Now we've got to do the eye. Now the eye, I think what we better do with that is put a grey in there. Remember I put the, the uh, light in. So I'm going to put the grey in. And the white highlight. There, like that. Now, I, what I want to use, I want to try to put in 169. It's the first time I've used this one. I want a little bit of 169 in as well. And then, right in the very centre, not that I've got any much room there, but we put just a little spot of black. I'm going to slightly interfere with that white just a touch there. Oh no, that's good. I got away with that, I think. What I could also do here is just put a little touch of grey, light grey back on, just to lighten the bottom part of that eye. That's going to look good when we darken it down in a minute or two. So let's make that, that a little bit of grey here. I did put some in, didn't I? But I've got a little bit more now. A little detail. And I want just a smidgen. Of 169. Now this is a very very light touch. I'm hardly touching the paper with it, but it just puts a little bit of tone in there. That's it. Okay. Now what do we do? Do we do we blend? That's the question. To blend or not to blend? That is the question. Now I think what we'll do. We will blend it. I'll use. I'm using this one. Um, you could use the grey color shaper, but. This one might be a little softer and blend. Now this is what I'm talking about. When I put that grey underneath, that blue is, and the grey underneath is being agitated. So it means that you'll get a, a softer colour, better blend. And that's a good blend then. Like that eye, come up well. You can't do any more with it than that, you see. Now just get rid of that blue because we're going to go onto the beak. Now see that influence of that 169, you can see it now. And we'll put a bit of detail on in a minute. Okay, now we're going to start thinking a little bit more about colour. I'm using 143. 143. Now what I want to try to do is to retain the light. So I'm going to fiddle this one like this. Look. Can you see all those little, little bits of light that are showing through? I'm going to put a darker colour on in a minute as well. It's like a bottle effect. Oh, that will, we don't want it necessarily around here. And we'll be, be, be putting black on top of this as well. I think I like the idea of the blue underneath the black. And then in here, the same, same idea here, we'll be putting black on here too. And there. So this doesn't have that mottled effect, but everywhere else will, and this will go, it's well, mottled, it's feathers, that idea. Now to accentuate that, I've got another colour, 151. 151, we can put that in on top of the one. a little bit more of an effect because being darker especially here because we've got a little bit of shadow coming on that bit and we've just spotted it still spot it though don't just draw it just use the same system under there would be the same idea but that's going to have a little bit of black on and I think we'll just do that now just under there that's quite dark so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put, I'm not going to use the 140 here, I'll just use 143 because it's quite dark and it's quite dark there, like that. I'm going to put in 143 and 151 directly on top. You'll see that in a minute when I, when I come down to the neck, but I'm not going to do the neck yet, I'm, wait, I'm really waiting for the right time using. Five one there. I've got the blue.
through them. I'll do the same thing here. And again, follow this through. Because we've got the light on the top now, in the grey and the blue, that looks pretty good. So, that's one, four, three, and now one, five, one. See how effective that is. Terrific. That's all I want to do there. Now the black. Now the jolly old black. Now the jolly old black has got to come around that eye and I've got a lot of room. Not pressing very hard either. But it worked. I've got there. Now the black. A little bit of black that frames that area there. If you could retain a little bit of blue in the middle, like I've done, that'll be great. And then, it's, and then again, we have it on kind of on the edge there, and to there. It's a little darker here. Let's just put some detail in. A bit darker. Some detail on, on an animal you have to leave off. You just can't get everything in. Under there. That's where we will need that little bit of extra black. See how that's working? Okay. Now the one. We can now bring the darker colour back in. This is the 151. One. Just pick up a little bit more. Now that looks really good like that. But just, if we can, just a little bit of black picking up there. A bit of white in there. And then in there. And now I think what we do is we do the beak. Um, I think I'm going to use what black because if we try to use the white, I think the grey, it just won't register. So a little bit of black, a little black on the top of the end of the beak there. And you might as well follow that through. So a little tiny bit of a hook. Now, this is difficult to do because it's so small, but I'll give it a go. as possible. If I pull back on that, you'll see just how effective that is. There we are. You see how effective that is. And what I'm doing now is just putting a little few little spots of white just to lighten that light blue up. Yeah, that's finished. 